Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to KB Small Engine Repair. We're out on a mobile job today where you're going to be replacing the carburetor on an Onan Genset uh, generator on a motorhome. So I'll show you how to do that. Let's get right into it. So here we are guys. This is a Cummins Onan RV QG4000. Got to pull the cover off, obviously. There's your carburetor. Onan says that these carburetors are not serviceable. I have not had any luck cleaning them. There's a couple, you know, there's a couple videos out there you've seen if you know if they're running a little bit rough or whatever. There's a couple videos out there. You, there's some things you can do to um, get them running better. But if it won't start um, and it's to the point, you know, say on a lawnmower where you would typically pull it out and rebuild it or, you know, feel like you need to really clean it out. Chances on these of cleaning them out successfully are pretty slim. I have not had any luck myself doing it. Typically, you just need to replace it. And for myself as a business, I mean, if you're doing this as, you know, for yourself, to try and clean it out, go ahead. But for me as a business, I'd hate to do this, you know, try and clean it for one of my customers, particularly when I haven't had any success doing it. And then having them go out in the mountains somewhere and get stranded without any power. So typically, I just tell my customers we need to replace it and go from there. Let's pinch off, get the fuel line out of the way. It's pretty tight in here too. A lot of the one, just drop that filter cover cap, but I'll grab it later. A lot of the ones typically have, you know, a full open cavity. This one's just got a little thing, but that's not a big deal. Work with what we've got. So I'm just pulling the air filter off right now. It's where you access the bolts, two bolts for the carburetor. Weasel that out as best you can. To so get the bolts pulled out, there's a washer on there. Make sure not to lose that. Sometimes they'll get stuck in there and fall out. Next thing you want to do is 
undo the ground for the anti-backfire, afterfire solenoid. And then unplug it up here. Now we're good to pull this out. Probably have to close the choke linkage so the plate doesn't get stuck in the opening. They're both getting caught. Linkages and you're out. The new carburetor out. The new gaskets. It's kind of a weird gasket for this aftermarket deal. Put the screws back in to hold it into place while you just so the gaskets aren't slipping.
time. Let's get this plug back in. Fuel line hooked back up. And the carb studs tighten back down. Be good to go. Make sure to adjust the um, altitude adjustment back to where the original was or wherever your altitude is. find the screw for that. That is how you change the carburetor on a Onan generator. Thank you guys for joining me today. As always, make a choice. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.